This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I'm James Anthony. This is Sam Fitton. And yeah, welcome back to the £21.49 Review Show. Hey! Hey! It's good uh, to have him back, isn't yeah, it? I mean, thanks. it's been too long, hasn't it? It has been a little while. Where have you been, man? Uh, I've been busy. Oh. Um, I've been performing. Uh, I've been working with other performers as well. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, just got some exciting stuff in the pipeline. But but with a bit of good luck, yeah. this might be more of a regular occasion oh, absolutely. than it's, in the past. Especially because I've just accidentally bought a house around the corner from the shop. Exactly. But so. he's just bought the shop as well, so it kind of weirdly we now live too close to each other. I know. It's scary, um, isn't it? A bit weird. Anyway. Anyway, what do you think of the new shop? Leave it in the comments. What do you yeah, think? Yeah. Man? This is just a small section of it, but we had our opening on Saturday. It was hugely successful. We had the mayor opening up, and wow, you yeah, missed it's, it, it's, man. It's, I know, it's, I, I missed it because I was working. Uh, however, um, this is my first visit to the shop, and it's pretty awesome. If you came to the last shop, uh, this is like worlds apart. It's, it's like different. a million times better, and then some. Um, and yeah, so do head down, uh, take a look around, and, and yeah, it's actually... Yeah. Probably one of the nicest magic shops I've ever visited, and that's saying something. Fantastic. Um, so yeah. Well, halfway through we this on? review show, we are we're probably going to get a DHL person coming in to pick up a yeah. parcel. Yeah. If we Whatever. do cut it, you know, it just happens. Yeah, yeah. We're so, a working shop. It's a quick review show as well this week, isn't it? It it's, is quite quick. It is the you've twenty. Got a dash. It is. It's the twenty-one pound forty-nine p review show. Every product you're about to see, funnily enough, is twenty-one pounds and forty-nine p. And let's go on with what we're actually going to be reviewing. We're yeah. going to be reviewing. Uh, this one here, which is Psycho Gravity by yep. Tenyo. Yeah, uh, and then we've got uh, Water Crystal, uh, again by Tenyo. Uh, I'm sure most of you can read the box though. Yep, and Spell O Matic. <laughs> again, guess how much? Uh, £21.49. Indeed, yes. Boom, it's you're like the winner. It's like I'm a mind reader. By Liam Montier. So this yeah. is going to be a, a good little product as well. So let's get started. Which one mm. first? Which Tenyo first? Uh, should we go for the Gravity? Let's go for the Gravity. Okay. This is one that uh, had, a, had, a, had a few... Various yeah. thoughts with. Mm. First, let's cut to the cheesy Tenyo music trailer now. I clapped. I know, that was good, wasn't it? Good, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I clapped, you snapped. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's good. And we're back, and that is Psycho Gravity. Now, when I first played you this trailer, mm. what were your honest thoughts? It's rubbish. <laughs> it's absolute rubbish. I'm so sorry. It didn't help that the trailer had little Chinese writing on it. If you, you can, just... uh, honestly, if, if you could work out what was going on in that trailer without it needing to be explained to you or watching it multiple times, yes. please get in touch because. I had not a clue Me what neither. was going on in that Me trailer. Neither. There was so, a little dot being drawn. There was a there was strange kind of I guess Japanese um, words Jap for Japanese fruits words or and then a dot. So let's know. clarify what it's all about. Is that you have four random selections that a spectator yeah. could select. So it could be fruits. Yeah. They give an example of. Yeah. It could be playing cards. It could be people. It could be yeah. anything. It, they, they can write anything on. Basically, you get one of these yeah. okay uh, and and this one's obviously one in stock so it's yep. we're not peeled it off but you can place one of the four things inside the four areas 
uh, and then the, the spectator secretly marks uh, which one they're interested in yep. in this track at the top uh, and then you place this at an angle and you place your, your you little, little piece of acrylic wheel. you get a little piece yep. of acrylic on you that you holds do. it up on a you stand do. you show it running down normally yeah but then after they've done the selection yeah you it, hide the dot uh, with yep. a piece of plastic yeah uh, with a piece of black you get uh, yeah it is quite clever actually how you know which one it is which obviously we can't tell you yeah uh, but it's not really a brilliant trick. It's all downhill from there. <laughs> it's all down. It's all okay. <laughs> Sorry. In terms of the way it moves down, I think there is a magical element to it. Now, here's the argument is that yeah. it's not a professional magic trick. We know that. the ten -year, A lot of the 10-year ones are not tricks that you would take out no. as a gigging magician. It's not. So we're not going to rate it in that way. We're no. going to rate it as a 10-year item and, 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 out of 10. And I, I, to be honest, I would find it... It, it, it isn't a gigging item. It's not. It's it, not. It is a very... I actually think how this works is better than the trick. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was... Because uh, I we're, couldn't we're, figure we're, it out. Could you no, figure no, it out? No, 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 not initially, no. I mean, I kind of knew how the, the wheel bit worked. Yeah. But how you get, how you know where to make it stop yeah. in a fashion, that was clever. That was clever. And But uh, to be honest, I uh, we were talking earlier about this trick and, and when we were watching the, the instruction, uh, reading the instructions, in the PDF, the English version, you can download through a website. Um, and Penn and Teller have this really cool, I kind of, I suppose, ethos when it comes to magic, yes. and that's if the explanation is more interesting and more entertaining yeah. than the magic trick that you're creating with that method, then just teach people the method yeah. and show them how cool it is, how it works. Yep. And I actually think this is one of those tricks where the method is, is cool. so much better yeah. than the trick, because the yeah. trick is actually quite dull. Yeah. It's quite nice when it, I mean, what happens if they set the top one and it hardly moves at all, but if it goes further know, down, it's yeah. quite cool. I just think, you know the little motorised car yeah, that you can yeah, pull yeah. back on a deck of cards? Yep. That is ten times better than this. Yeah. It Literally, because it, there's only four choices on this and a deck of cards has 50 cards. It's just so different though. And it's I think more than ten times better. It's a tenu item, it's one of those collectible things, you, yeah. can, you can get your English instructions on a PDF, it comes yeah. with it in Or the box. if you can read Japanese. Yeah, uh, you can read Japanese. I mean, you're, you're sorted. sorted, they're all on the box uh, and with the instructions. So, in a nutshell, we've got to judge it out of 10 for not being yeah. a product for general magicians, but more for mm. collectors, for people. Yeah. If you are a 10-year collector, which you're not, of course, yeah, no. but some people go crazy for this stuff, <clears throat> Yeah, let's give it a fair rating out of 10. I, Purely for its method alone, it gets a 7 out of 10. Uh, I was going to say... Yeah, between six and a half and seven. So okay, cool. let's go for seven. I, I'm giving it seven. Seven out of ten. Because it's interesting. Not for professional magic, though, as a yeah. collectible as, item. As professional magic, it goes a hell of a lot less than that. Boom. But seven out of ten. Now on to number, product number two. We have, um, this one is called the, the Water Crystal. Water Crystal. Yeah, yes. obviously. <laughs> kind of gives everything that. away here. Um, uh, let's cut to a trailer of it, shall we? Yeah, let's now. do that.
and we're back and that is the water crystal yeah <laughs> he's in a laughing fit right oh now God. and um, yeah what you see is what you get cheesy music again great tenure advert I just don't English know English PDF instructions I just, I just don't know what to say if you want a card to magically appear in a miniature dog bowl this is the <laughs> trick for you um, it and it is a miniature. I mean, it's not even a dog, but it's like a hamster bone. I mean, it, it looks it's... it looks incredibly cool, the card appearing and then it vanishing does. again. However, and and you can customize yep. it. We should point out you can customize it. However, so any predictions? Why would it be a bone? Why? What, what? What is the? Well, you know, what is, is you it? Got, what is in this? So many stories and uh, fairy tales. You've got the lake, and then something appears in it. So that could be a lake. You just have to say, you tell tell the story to people. It's a lake, and then you're looking into the lake, and you see the reflection, and then boom. And then their card is in the it's, water, it's there, yeah. lying dead at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just... I like I, the premise of this, and i got to admit, I <laughs> thought it looks pretty cool and magical as it kind of flickers oh, in. It, yeah, it does look magical uh, yeah. when the card appears and then vanishes again. I mean, I suppose if you were doing some sort of... Um, if, if you were pretending to be like a fortune yep. teller and people's fortunes yeah. in the water and like reading tea leaves and maybe that... Exactly. They could build this into a cup and immediately... That was my mother out there, sorry, I was going... Why, why, Shh, don't why, come in why, yet. Why, why, right. What? Well, she's, she's across the road. Yeah, but they don't care. Okay, let's <laughs> go back to it. Okay. Right, if, if they built this into a cup, Tenyo, if you're listening, if we're watching this, build this into a teacup and you could sell it for ten times as much. Now and that, we, and it, why don't we do that? Well, let's do that. Let's, let's do, do that. Let's that's our, our, th our idea. Forget that, that Tenyo. Yep, Forget Tenyo. That. Yeah, that's ours. Yeah, we want rights for that. Yep. But that is the only logical explanation I can find for this product. It's, yeah. It's some sort of fortune telling or, you know, reading tea leaves, that sort of thing. It... Other but, than, I'll be honest, I prefer this tenue item to the last one. Especially for the price. Yeah. Uh, £21.49, really? obviously. You obviously. Um, and £21.49 for the other one is a little bit steep. <laughs> it's just steep, it's an it rolls. We get it. Um, sorry. Um, whereas this one, actually, for the effect that you get, is actually yes, quite is good, pretty good. For, for £21.49. So, I, I'm going to give this a slightly high rating just because yeah. of that fact. It's one yeah. that I would rather do this, I think, than carry all the little bits and pieces that again, go along with this. Again, this is, this the, is one the, item. Again, I think this is one of those ratings, like we did for the last one. Yeah. This isn't a professional magic It trick. can't be. It can't be. This isn't something your working professional is going to do out on yeah. the circuit or yeah. at their residences or at a corporate event. Um, unless they're dressed as a swarmy. You never know. Um, <laughs> I th okay, so let's give it a rating out of 10. Let's cut this short. I am going to give this personally... Uh, I'm going to go for... Uh, can we do seven and a half or eight? I, I have seven and a half. Seven and a half. half. Yeah, seven and a half. Seven yeah, and a half seven out of 10. I can't, I can't really give it more than that because... But as a collectible item, it looks great in the box. Most collectors don't even take it out of the box, so it doesn't really matter if the trick's any good. Put it in a cup and I'll give you a 10, Tanya. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> nice one. Boom, let's move on to product number three, the final product, and... And this is really good. This is the, the, hopefully the better one. It kind of yeah, gives it away, really but good. this is Spellomatic by yeah. Liam Monche. Yeah. Let's cut to a trailer of it now. Uh, so we're going to do a trick with you, Rach, and with you, Liz. But rather than have you choose cards out the pack, which is, um, you know, the old way of doing it, I'm going to have you guys just simply name the cards that you want to use. So if you have All lucky right. cards or favourite cards, that's fine. Okay. Uh, so, Rach, what's your favourite card or your lucky card in this case? Uh, seven of clubs. The seven of clubs. Hmm. Is that always your lucky card? Uh, on occasion. It, it has is, been. Yeah? It has been a good okay. way for me. Well, let's see if it's lucky this time. We're going to try and find the seven of clubs, and we do that by sort of uh, spelling to it. So we go ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven. O, F for of, and then C, L, U, B, and right on the S, we should get the seven of clubs. Oh, wow. That is pretty cool. It's quite a lucky card. I'm, I'm pleased that worked. Yeah. Uh, at least you have a lucky card as well. Two of spades. The two of spades. And a is there one. any way that I could have known in advance that that would be the card that you were no, thinking of? I think so. No? I see how lucky it is. We go ace, two, uh, of, O, F, and then spades, S, P, A, D, E, and on the S, get the two of spades. Yeah, Pretty wicked. Yeah. Now, the thing is, of course, uh, well, you're just naming the cards out loud, so you might think I'm some sort of sleight of hand ninja and finding the card and move, maneuvering it somewhere to the right place. You are a ninja. So, you're not supposed to know that. It's supposed to be secret. <laughs> um, so what we're going to have you guys do now is create a card at random. So, Rach, you're going to choose the suit. Okay. Uh, it's completely at random. Right. And Liz, you're going to choose the value of the okay. card. So what suit would you like, Rach? Uh, heart. 
So you went for hearts, Rach? Yes. Any, any way I could have known that in advance or influenced your decision? Um, not that I know of. No, that's good. That's how we want it to go. And uh, <laughs> what number or suit, uh, value would you like, um, please? Let's do the 10. The 10. The 10 of hearts. So let's see if that works. We go ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of O-F and then hearts, H-E-A-R-T. And right on the S, we should get the 10 of hearts. <laughs> oh, nice. So there is one more thing that you might be thinking, because you're still saying your choices out loud, mm. that I'm somehow maneuvering the cards into position for you. So we're now gonna have you guys both think of a card that's so secret that not even you will know what it is, Ooh. let alone me, okay? okay? So we're gonna do this completely at random. So Rach, <laughs> you're gonna choose a card, okay. and I'm gonna have you look at it, but you don't show anyone else. Right, okay. And you just remember the suit of the card. So take it out, have a look suit? at it, remember it. Okay. Okay, and then pop it back in there for me. That's okay. excellent. And I'm gonna have you do the same, Liz, but with the number or okay. the value. You can take any card out you like, right. take a look at the number or the value of it, and pop it straight back. Excellent, we'll leave it there, we won't touch anything. So, now you are thinking of half a card each. So, neither of you actually know the full card. Very and true. therefore, there's no way I could know it as well. Okay. Is that fair? That is fair. That is so, fair. Uh, what value did you choose? The six. The six. Mm -hmm. So, we'll count through. We'll do it on the table. Super fair. The ace, two, three, four, five, six. And it'd have to be the six of something. So, O, F for the of. And then, Rach, for the first time, what was the suit? Diamonds. Diamonds. So, let's try this out. D, I, A. M O N D. That takes us to the S, and it really is the six of mm. diamonds. <laughs> That's a pretty cool nice. dream, isn't it? That's nice. awesome. And we are back. Caught you off aware there. Yeah, I'm absolutely. Uh, um, we're uh, back. That is, uh, yeah, that is Spellomatic. Now, this was released, I think, in 2014. It's, it's not a brand new one. It, it, go, it goes back a hell of a lot longer than that. The, the system inside it that allows you to locate those cards yes. and the cards in that order actually goes back about 60 years, yeah, I think. It does. Um, and I know Liam touched on this in the DVD and the explanation, say DVD, downloadable. You know downloadable I mean content, these days. yeah. Um, actually, Liam's teaching and the, the, the way he goes over the history of it in quite a good fashion. Yeah. Liam is a fantastic teacher. He's probably one of the most engaging presenting magicians on a DVD I've seen in a long time. Yeah, he's he really, teaches it well. He teaches it well, he's a really interesting teacher, yes. and his presentation of the effect uh, when he's de good. deming it is brilliant. It's fantastic. And, and it is as good as it looks in the demo. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's got multi-phase, and that's what I like about it. Rather than yeah. just I mean, spelling tricks, as he said, it, it took him a lot to be convinced to do a yeah. spelling trick. Yeah, yeah. Well, but you actually do the effect four times, yeah. I think. You, you know, you, you get each spectator to name a card. Yeah. Then uh, they name, uh, one name's a suit and yeah. one name's uh, the value. Yeah. And then finally, uh, as the last phase, as you will have saw, is yeah. where neither of them know what each other are yeah. thinking, but then you're still able to counter yeah. the card that's then named instantly. Yeah. It's very powerful stuff. It's very powerful. I mean, if you want to do the same trick four times in a row, uh, you, you'd always generally say never, never do never. that. But... In this in instance, this it does make it better. Yeah. It's one of the few tricks, I think, which the more times you see it, the better exactly. it gets. Exactly. And in terms of difficulty level, I mean, the difficulty level of this, next to nothing, I don't I, I, I mean, maybe, maybe two or three yeah, out of ten. Yeah, two or three out of ten. I think with a little bit of practice, um, you could be really And that's the beauty with this. quite a lot of the effects that have been coming out re yeah. recently from Big Land Media, um, like Zodiac Prediction and yeah. this one. They just work. And mm. they get good results. It is. It, you, the you'd, almost, you'd, as well, you'd, so. you'd almost go as far to say that Spellomatic is self-working. That There are a couple of um, moves that you need to be able to do. Yep. Um, but nothing it's, it's beyond not, anybody. It's not, it's not double lifts or fancy palms or anything like that. Not even that advanced. It, it, it's, you know? it, it's just using a number of different um, yes. things within the deck that yep. allow you to quickly locate things. Boom! That is there a great way of putting it, isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, uh, taking that into account, you just need to remember a very, very, well very a very simple order that is yes. very well taught um, and and well well presented again, yep. which makes it really engaging and easy yep. to watch. Exactly, it keeps the instructions short, punchy, and direct, and he teaches you what you need to know. And actually, he makes a really good point in the instructions. Yep. I'm not going to teach you how it works. I'm just going to show you how it works, which is great because you don't really need to know how the the mathsy element of it works. Yeah, exactly. You just need, need to, to know that 
100 it's going to work every time absolutely without even thinking about and, it and liam's spot and that's what on it with does that. he it really works. is and so yeah i i absolutely love this i think if i i don't think i'd perform it close up yeah, I definitely put this parlor. Well, I've, parlor. I've been parlor. thinking about having magic nights in here in yeah, the future, yeah. and that's something that will last five to six minutes, if not longer. Oh yeah, and yeah. it will knock people dead. Yeah, and absolutely. There's no skill required. Yeah, it's dead so easy. So I know I'll be doing this. Yeah, one. it'd be lovely to do this if you combined this with some sort of impression device. Yes. Where now you know in advance what card someone is thinking of, and you can spell to it before they've revealed Ooh. what card they're thinking of. Now, yes. now we're on a, 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 another another Different phase entirely. again. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And and so maybe that's something if you were looking to purchase this for twenty one pounds yeah. forty nine p. Um, you know, you, you might maybe... want to get covert adaption for eighty pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for one hundred and nine, <laughs> hundred and one pounds forty nine p. Um, or if you've already got an imp device of some yep. some description, you, you know, you could combine those and, exactly. and make a really killer routine. So, I mean, we can't recommend this highly enough, no, can no, we? No, really? it's brilliant. It so, really is very good. Out of ten, are we talking uh, like I, a I, nine? I'd, I'd go for nine. Yeah. I don't think you can nine and a half, nine. You know, you can't, nine and a half. Should we do nine and a half? Nine and a half. Nine well, and a half out well, of ten. Well done, Liam, for digging this yep. up out of the archives and awesome. um, and reinventing it. Yep, fantastic. Well, yep. that's the end of the review show yep. and. It's a pleasure to have you back. Oh, thank you. Look forward to more uh, more sessions yeah. and more uh, in. I'll be here more often. Yeah, magic, magic reviews with you on. Indeed. And of course, we'll hopefully get uh, Daniel Meadows back on every now and again as well. All the usuals. So from myself, James Anthony, uh, and me, Sam Fitton, have a great week. <laughs> <laughs>